Hey guys, how's it going? Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Resident Evil 4 HD mod onto the uh, Resident Evil 4 version on Steam. So first of all, you're going to follow the link in the description which will take you to their website. You're going to find this post here, and you're going to download uh, Release Free, whichever is the current release at the time. And then you're also going to go onto the troubleshooting section and download the 4GB patch tool. Now I'm going to include links to all of the above, just in case you cannot find them in the description. Right, once you've downloaded it, you're going to open up these two zip files and you can open up your Resident Evil folder which will be found in Steam, Steam Apps, Common and in Resident Evil 4 and then by default you'll only have these three folders you're going to drag all of this into there, you're going to extract it into this folder um, it might take a while with the uh, files here just wait for it to finish and once it's done you're going to open up the 4GB patch for some reason I can't really do it without my OBS um, crashing so you're going to open it up and it's going to open up another folder which shows this exact directory here. You're going to go into bin32, select bio4.exe and select it. After a couple of seconds it should say that it's complete. You'll click OK and that should be done. Okay, now that that's finished, we're going to click install script.bat. Open that up and it will ask a couple of questions. Um, these questions, uh, there is no right or wrong answer. Um, it's entirely based on whether you want it. So for example, it's going to ask here if you would like to install our new custom gradient files. I don't really want that, so I'm going to click N for no and then click enter. And then it asks if I would like to install the Resident Evil 2 Ada costume for cutscenes that use um, Leon's RPD outfit. I don't really want that. If you do, press yes. If you don't want, press no or N and enter and then it mentions that some people have photosensitive epilepsy and would prefer to have a light uh, lightning and uh, flickering lights removed would you like to remove lightning and flickering light effects now um, that's up to you i'm going to click no because i don't need it to be removed you're going to click n and when it does it's going to do this right so i've skipped ahead because it usually takes a couple of minutes to do all of the files but once it's finished it will say complete press any key to continue you'll press any key and then boom, it should be done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up Resident Evil 4 and see if it works. And as you can see, you'll know it works because it's replaced um, the Steam opening with the original GameCube remastered um, opening with the logos and the sky in the background. And then you just kind of want to test it. So we'll just jump in the game real quick. And as you can see, it's done, and it's all edited, it's all completed successfully, and that should be it pretty much. So uh, with that being said guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the tutorial, and uh, enjoy playing Resident Evil with some brand new textures.